Hello there you guys, welcome to one of my videos Liverpool 7, Manchester United 0 I will repeat that again Liverpool 7, Manchester United 0 Manchester United embarrassed by Liverpool it's Manchester United's heaviest defeat since Boxing Day 1931. Eric Ten Hag accuses Manchester United of being unprofessional. And he said Man United lost their heads. Manchester United capitulated in the second half. It was 1-0 at half time. I actually thought the first half was equal. You know, in that first half, Man United did have some chances. You know, Bruno Fernandes had a headed chance, went just wide. You know, Rashford had a chance. Anthony had a chance, but produced a comfortable save by Allenson. Disgraceful performance, though, by Manchester United in that second half. Manchester United... Could have been down to eight men in that game. You know, Luke Shaw could have easily been sent off. By the way, I thought Luke Shaw was ban average. I thought he was at fault for two of Liverpool's goals. Uh, the first goal played him on side. And one of the other goals, he gave the ball away in a stupid area. Uh, Bruno Fernandes... He was an absolute disgrace. You know, he could have definitely been sent off. And, you know, the thing that has really frustrated me is that Liverpool didn't even have to play that well, you know, to win 7-0. Didn't even have to come out of second gear. And, you know... Last season, Liverpool beat Manchester United 4-0 at Anfield. They won 5-0 at Old Trafford last season. So, you know, yesterday's game, you know, replicated them games. Obviously, 7-0 is much worse than losing 4-0 or 5-0. But this is an humiliation. And for any team to lose 7-0 is embarrassing. But especially losing 7-0 to your biggest rivals is unacceptable. And there's no excuses. You know, I'm still behind Derek Ten Hag. You know, this will just be a setback. You know, Man United have had quite a few setbacks this season and obviously then recovered. You know, we had the 6-3 defeat to Man City this season. You know, we bounced back from that. You know, we had the 4-0 defeat to Brentford on the second game of the season. We bounced back from that. You know, we had the 3-1 loss to Aston Villa. But yeah, there is um, positivity around Liverpool. I thought yesterday that was their cup final, that 7-0 win. Nobody expected it. It was a total shock. You know, Liverpool have not been good this season. 
it's probably been the first poor season in like five seasons. You know, as you all know, Jurgen Klopp, I've got a lot of respect for him. Like I said prior to the game, he's a very good manager. Jurgen Klopp, don't forget, has won seven trophies at Liverpool. He's won the Premier League, the Champions League, the FIFA Club World Cup, the Super Cup, the Carabao Cup, the FA Cup and the Community Shield. Four of the seven trophies he won came in one season. Jurgen Klopp is under contract with Liverpool until 2026. Do you think he can see out his contract? Because he has been under pressure with how poor Liverpool have been throughout the course of this season. You know, Klopp has been in charge of Liverpool now for over seven years. He got appointed in as the Liverpool manager in October 2015. But certainly Jurgen Klopp is the best manager Liverpool have had in this generation. You know, they've had good managers in that over the years. You know, they've had some poor managers as well. But um, this is a game, you know, Liverpool fans are never going to forget. You know, Manchester United fans like me are going to try and erase it from their memory. Um, the goals yesterday, of course, Mohamed Salah got two goals. He's now Liverpool's record Premier League scorer. He's overtaken Robbie Fowler. Uh, Cody Gakpo, um, he scored two goals for Liverpool. Um, to be fair, he's really made an impact. You know, Liverpool got Cody Gakpo from PSV. Darwin Nunes, um, he got a brace. Uh, Darwin Nunes has become very good in uh, recent weeks. And Roberto Firmino scored for Liverpool. Cody Gakpo and Darwin Nunes are two players Manchester United tried to get. We should have certainly got Cody Gakpo because for a while Manchester United were the favourites to get him. But Liverpool hijacked Man United's move at the final hurdle. But like I say, hopefully this is just a blip. You know, Manchester United have got Real Betis this Thursday in the last 16 of the Europa League. And then obviously our next league game is Southampton. <clears throat> I criticise our players when they deserve to be criticised. But, you know, if you analyse the season, you know, Manchester United have made progress. <clears throat> You know, the other week, Eric Ten Hag won his first trophy as Man United manager. And that was Man United's first trophy in six years. You know, we can still win the FA Cup. You know, Ten Hag's got us to the quarterfinals where we'll be playing Fulham. You know, got us to the last 16 of the Europa League. Uh, Man United, of course, are third in the league. <clears throat> and revert back to the start of this season. I did say Ten Hag's expectations this season would be to get Man United a top four finish. You know, this has been Ten Hag's first season as Man United manager. And he is our best manager since Ferguson. 
But, you know, despite the defeat yesterday, I'm still confident Man United will finish in the top four. But I think Liverpool themselves could finish in the top four because they have picked up form in recent games. And that 7-0 thrashing against Man United yesterday will give them now a lot of confidence. Liverpool can't do that week in, week out. Obviously not this season anyway. You know, the Liverpool of last season definitely could do that. Just seems to me Liverpool always seem to raise the game against Manchester United because obviously it's a huge game. As far as I know, Liverpool have only lost one game at Anfield in the league this season. That was to Leeds. But prior to the game, you know, I predicted a draw. I said it was going to be a close game. Uh, it was always in my head, you know, Liverpool could beat us, which obviously they did convincingly. Because we're very poor at Anfield. You know, Manchester United have not won at Anfield since 2016. Manchester United, of course, beat Liverpool at Old Trafford this season 2-1. And that was the first time we'd beaten Liverpool in the league since 2018. <clears throat> but anyway, like I say, hopefully we'll move on from this, bounce back. And, you know, we will keep the faith. You know, Man United are only, what, missing three players. You know, Martial's still injured. He's been hampered with injuries this season. Van der Beek is injured, but he's a squad player. He doesn't start anywhere. And Eriksen is out with injury until April or early May. He is the only key player out. But, you know, Liverpool, you know, they were missing players yesterday and they've had injuries this season, you know, and it's had a bad effect on them. You know, Liverpool, of course, were missing Diaz. You know, he's still injured. Liverpool got him from Porto. They were missing Thiago. They were probably the two key players they were missing. Um, obviously, there was no Keita, but he's not first choice. Calvin Ramsey's injured, but again, doesn't play much. Liverpool got him from Scotland. Um, Arthur, of course, was injured. You know, Liverpool got him on loan from Juventus. <laughs> so now, guys... Like I say, Liverpool in the summer still need to make a couple of more signings. Like I said prior to the game, Liverpool's attack is very good. The defence is very good. They've just got to address that midfield. You know, Liverpool, of course, in the summer, you know, will get rid of players as well. Uh, Roberto Firmino, it's likely he's going to be leaving in the summer. Um, I think they could get rid of Kiter in the summer. Milner could leave Liverpool in the summer. He should retire because he's too old anyway. Uh, Gomez, you know, he's been out of injury. I think he'll leave in the summer. Not good enough. Matip, I think Liverpool will get rid of him in the summer. Not good enough. Uh, Chamberlain, he's another one who I think they'll get rid of in the summer because he's not first choice and plus Chamberlain is injury prone. So there you go. So anyway guys, that's everything to update. We've dropped your comments, likes below on the channel. If you do, consider subscribe as always and take care. God bless.